Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to talk about belly fat or abdominal fat. So when people think of losing weight, first thing that comes to mind is flat and toned tummy. I have heard people saying I am not overweight or I don't want to lose weight but I just want to reduce that paunch, that belly fat. After all, who doesn't want to wear crop top or a pair of jeans without bothering about oversized tops or muffin tops. Also losing belly fat helps in improving overall health because belly fat is seriously harmful and you might have heard as your waistline increases, so do your health problems. And according to a research published in the Journal of American Cardiology, larger waist size is linked to diabetes, heart disease and even some cancer. So overall, losing belly fat not only makes you look good but also helps in improving health. Now for reducing this belly fat many of us say I am doing everything right following a strict diet and working out several times a week but still I am unable to lose fat in fact I am gaining weight for no reason. So now let me tell you one thing you cannot target belly fat just by doing 100 crunches a day or by just following a strict diet because there are a lot of other factors that are behind your belly fat and one of those culprits is insulin resistance so if you are struggling with that extra fat in the belly then insulin resistance may be causing that problem so stay tuned because today i am going to explain insulin resistance in detail and why you should be concerned about it but before i start if you're new to my channel then please subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you get notified about my new uploads Let's first understand what is insulin. So insulin is a hormone secreted by pancreas and pancreas is a large gland located behind stomach and one of its role is to produce insulin. Now insulin has many functions but its important function is to control blood glucose level. So when we eat food our body absorbs nutrients including carbs and during digestion it converts carbs into blood glucose or sugar and this enters body cells to provide energy so insulin basically transports glucose from the blood into the cells insulin acts as a key for the glucose to enter the cells of liver muscles fat and other organs so now when we consume too many carbs like cereals rice pasta bread soda candies chocolates our pancreas is forced to produce extra insulin to deal with all the extra sugar in the blood and eventually the person becomes resistant to insulin which means body cells stop responding to insulin and as a result cells lose their ability to take in glucose in simple words body becomes resistant to insulin so overall due to very high sugar or carb intake body produces more and more insulin to move glucose from blood into the cells at this point blood sugar spikes up too high in the blood so now let's understand what is excess blood sugar normal blood sugar ranges from 70 to 100 milligram per deciliter and human body contains approximately 5 liters of blood this amounts to 4 grams of sugar in blood which is less than a teaspoon to maintain normal blood sugar level and an average Indian consumes 10 to 12 teaspoons of sugar per day and approximately 20 kgs of sugar a year so imagine the amount of sugar in your blood that insulin has to deal with and people with insulin resistance produces five to seven times higher insulin than healthy people initially insulin resistance does not cause any symptoms but health problems appear over a period of time if action is not taken and insulin resistance is a risk factor for heart disease diabetes stroke non-alcoholic fatty liver and pcos so now the question is 
how insulin resistance can cause abdominal or belly fat when a person is insulin resistant they are low in energy and have mental fatigueness because their body cells do not have glucose to produce energy whereas glucose in the blood is very high and when this happens the person turns to the same carb rich food which created all the problem so a vicious cycle is created of high blood sugar high insulin then low blood sugar and fat storage it in the belly in simple words less insulin equals less belly fat since insulin makes you hungry and stores belly fat also high insulin influences other hormones leptin and ghrelin so when insulin blocks leptin which is a satiety hormone your body thinks it is starving even after consuming burger french fries and a can of soda so have you ever wondered why you are still hungry right after a big meal it's nothing but insulin surge and leptin resistance and more than any other food sugar and refined carbs are majorly responsible for all these problem so as we consume more and more carbs and sugar our metabolism converts it into belly fat and as i said belly fat is highly dangerous as it causes fatty liver also which triggers inflammation chronic inflammation causes more weight gain and diversity and this worsens insulin resistance so now the next question is how do you know if you suffer from insulin resistance as i mentioned most people with insulin resistance have extra fat in the mid section you can be thin fat tall short but still can have insulin resistance some of the indicators are fatigue bladder issues sugar cravings aches and pains throughout the body always feeling hungry and brain fog so to be sure it's best to take insulin response test which measures your blood sugar and insulin in fasting and 2 hours after consuming a 75 grams sugar drink just measuring blood sugar alone is not enough but you have to measure your insulin now when you know you are insulin resistant you can do several things to normalize insulin lose that belly fat and gain good health number 1 and most important thing eliminate sugar refined and processed carbs from your diet number 2 eat real and whole foods Number 3 exercise regularly. Number 4 increase consumption of good fats and proteins. Number 5 manage your stress levels. Number 6 get enough sleep at least 7 to 8 hours per day. And number 7 monitor your alcohol consumption. So just try these suggestions for a week or two and let me know in the comments below how you feel. If this was a helpful video then give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.